This is Erin Kinney with What the Tech Is That? I'm going to cover a few programs that might make your life a little easier. First off is Google Translate. Google Translate is a free translation service that provides instant translations between 64 different languages. It translates words, sentences, and web pages in any combinations of the supported languages, which range from Afrikaans to English. You can also auto detect the language. Here on the left, I've typed in some Spanish that it automatically detected and it translated into English on the right side. It also works with non-Latin languages. You can listen to the translation and see how to pronounce it phonetically using the buttons on the right. In the Chrome browser, it can automatically detect and translate for you. Note that it does not translate the images, only the text. Next up is Google Goggles. Using your mobile device, you can take a picture of text or an object. Goggles scans the image and searches across Google products for more information. It's available on iPhone and Android. Here on the, le on the right, I took a picture of a bag of almonds. It can search across landmarks, artworks, contact information, logos, books, and translate text. Here on the left, it's found uh, news articles about Blue Diamond, and on the right, it's found images. You can take a picture of a book barcode and it brings up Google Shopping or Google Books where you can either purchase a book or you can actually try and read it through Google Books if it's available. Next up is Google Cloud Print. Google Cloud Print connects your printers to the web. You can make your home and work printers available to you and anyone you choose from the applications you use every day. Google Cloud Print works on your phone, tablet, desktop computer, and any other web-connected device you want to print from. I opened up Google Drive on my phone's web browser and selected a spreadsheet here on the left, and I clicked on the print link. It's, I selected which printer I wanted to use, which I had previously set up, and voila, it's printed at home. This would be great for, for homework at the library. Next is Picasa, which is Google's software lets you organize, edit, and upload photos. It also has web albums, which provides one gigabyte of free storage that makes sharing the photos easy tied into Google+. I have over 35,000 photos on my computer at home. Picasa searches and indexes them for me, allowing me to locate them by folder. You can search and Picasa will locate your search terms in the folders or file names. You can share your photos via email or upload to Picasa Web Albums. Those are the little green arrows. Picasa Web Albums are tied in, are now tied in with Google+, so you can share amongst your circles. Now back to the software. The image on the right is the original, and the image on the left is, has been um, automatically um, autocorrected. They call it, I'm feeling lucky. The Picasa software has lots of different types of editing you can automatically click on to lots of different effects you can use on your photos. And there's my, my edited photo. That, uh, Picasso also saves a backup to, the, to your disk so it'll save the original file so you can undo all those changes even years after you've done those changes. Next up is Paperly. Paperly is an online content curation service it enables people to publish newspapers based on topics they like and treat their readers to fresh news. You can subscribe to other people's newspapers or create your own. I created one with news from Wyoming. It includes news, videos, on various topics, all customizable. You can have your pu paper published daily, weekly, morning or evening, and at a time of your choosing. On your newspaper settings, you can edit the content sources, block any source, change the appearance, and do a few additional customizations if you want willing to pay the $9 a month. You can add searches from Twitter and Facebook and Google+, YouTube channels, RSS feeds, but you're limited to 25 sources with the free version. You can customize and refine your searches. You can add major news feeds. Done. Next up is Zotero. It's a free, easy to use tool to help you collect, organize a site, and share your research sources. It lives right where you do, in the web browser itself. I use the Firefox plugin, but there are other options for other browsers. 
You can sort your citations into multiple libraries. I can see it highlighted on the left. You can add a citation directly from the browser address from the browser address bar. See the little icon at the top. It will automatically import the information for that article. Each citation can have notes, tags, and how it's related to other citations. It also locates and merges duplicate citations, takes snapshots of the web page for offline browsing, and indexes PDFs you have downloaded to your computer. You can limit your citations based on tags. Newer articles automatically have tags. The older ones do not, but they are all editable. You can create a bibliography in a variety of formats. Done! Now, if only writing the paper was so easy. This is Aaron Kinney. Have a good day.